For the past four years, the small Victorian town of Caniva, near the South Australian border, has had a title no one wants, home to the state's biggest toxic waste dump. Now, it's taken more than two years to remove hundreds of tonnes of liquid waste, contaminated soil and gas cylinders from the Lemon Springs property. The clean-up has led to a move that will transform recycling across Australia. It's the biggest clean-up Victoria, if not Australia, has ever seen. Five years ago, Victorian authorities discovered this rural property near the South Australian border was a dumping ground for toxic waste, buried in pits as big as football ovals. We had chemical waste, liquids wastes, we had asbestos, we had uh, acetylene cylinders, um, so multiple different waste types, all buried in 32 locations right across the site. The property's owner, Graham Leslie White, has pleaded not guilty to 44 charges relating to the waste and will stand trial in February. The community in Caniva held concerns it would be a fire hazard and contaminate the groundwater they rely on for farming. They dodged that bullet, but some of the waste did leach into the soil. There's no evidence to suggest that it has got into the waterways, but um, it is reassuring to know with what they said tonight that they were going to continue to monitor those aquifers. Among the waste were tens of thousands of acetylene gas cylinders, which posed its own issues. Currently, the only opportunity for recycling of cylinders is overseas. To solve the problem, Enviro Pacific has created its own recycling facility from scratch. This site and stall will soon be home to a plant that will recycle canisters from Caniva before accepting others from across Australia. On average, the site will process around 25,000 cylinders per annum. So we have a, a distinct opportunity to support the local market in an area that hasn't currently been available to them. The facility should be operational by the end of the year. Gillian Area, ABC News, Caniva.